Hey guys, it's me, and today I will be showing you how to style a Todoroki wig, so let's go. So first things first, you can totally skip this step, but it's a part of my process every time I style a wig. Stress out that you're going to ruin the entire thing, so just play with it for about 10 minutes while it's sitting on your head because you don't want to ruin a thing. Now after you've done that, because um, you're stressing out, so now take the middle section and make sure that it's centered off um, like pretty much in the middle how you like it. And my um, hair was way too long for the face so I need to trim it. So the first thing I did was center it off and then clip the um, hair bows in the side of my hair so that way the hair would stay out of um, the way so I wouldn't accidentally trim the wrong pieces. Also thanks to my little sister for letting me borrow her hair bows. Also I totally forgot to say make sure you keep looking at your reference picture and don't like just go off of memory just to make sure that you have everything the way you like it and as close to the character as possible. So the next thing I did is I tri trimmed upward on the bangs so that way it, give it a, gave it more of a feathered look trying to keep the edges of it shorter than the middle because then the middle can go to a point and like just everything will go to a point because like if the uh, edges are lower like shorter then it will more symmetrically go to the point is what I was hoping in my head. Didn't quite work right but it's what I did. that I did was um, brush through the banks to make sure I got all the loose hairs that were inside um, just to make sure that I didn't like accidentally hair hairspray any into the wig. The next thing I did was hairspray it and then um, like gather it and put it together at the end so that way it came to a point. Mm -hmm. 
The next thing I did was just blow dry it because I'm impatient and didn't want to wait for it to dry just to make sure I didn't need any more layers of hairspray. The next thing that I did was take the bows out of the white side of the hair to um, start to trim the edges because I didn't like how it was looking on my head and also it was a bit too long so all I did was take out sections and trim it up until I thought it was good. The next thing I did was go to the red side and try to make it as symmetrical as I possibly could to the white side. decided to trim some of the back hairs um, that were a little bit closer to my neck because I think it looked like the red side was a bit longer than the white side so I just trimmed them up a little bit using the same thing of cutting upward into the hair. sections of the hair um, and tease them just so that way it would give the, the wig more volume because it was pretty flat and his hair is really really flat but I just wanted to give it a little bit more texture so I just took sections as long as it wasn't attached to the bangs and I just went from the top and then did a couple lower ones and some at the bottom.
wig turned out um this wig was by color ground on and i got it off of amazon i will try to link it in the description box below i don't know if i'll be able to find it because amazon is hard to find things off of but um i hope you guys like this video thank you guys so much for watching bye